Last file was kinda a hot mess. Thinking about it again, they were both in the right to be mad, but technically Alina has more negative points since she's also been lying to him. So I guess I'm on Sam's side even though he could've said it nicer. No, you know what, I'm not gonna pick a side. This is tough. I'm just gonna listen to the next file. Hey guys, finding Sam today. I'm going to give him a piece of my mind. I just don't get why he's so scared to be friends. Alina! Oh. June? You gotta help me! Alina, June is causing a commotion. I thought we agreed over text that it'd be better if you didn't come to the park. Well, yeah. But I've been thinking nonstop about it, and it's not fair that you and Drew get to go and explore whenever you want. And I'm... I'm just stuck here. With my dog. Don't you love your dog? Yeah, but it's not fair. Dog is on your side. She was the one to propose this, so technically I'm on her side. I fear this conversation is going nowhere. <sighs> okay, how about just to satisfy June's curiosity, we take one trip to the park, and after that, if you have any questions, you just ask me your dog? Deal! Let's go. Hey, wait up. I'm just letting you know now, I have yet to see another alien, so don't get your hopes up. I'm sure we can find something awesome and strange that is based off of our beliefs on alien life forms. Well, true, but neither of us are experts in this. Maybe we can look for something we are more familiar with? I mean, there are stories told to us as kids. In Japan, we've got, like, all kinds of demons. Oh, I, I, I guess there's the Kappa. She's not all that friendly, but I haven't died yet. Would that be something you'd want to see? Mm, sure. It's no alien, but I guess it'd be cool to see something from childhood. She should be right at the lake. Don't get too close, or she'll try to touch your butt. My butt? Oh, right, our soul is supposed to be up there, right? Yes. Which, by the way, is some freaky stuff. Uh, people like butts, no big deal. It is when there's no consent. Apologies for bringing up the discussion, but I don't believe the cap is here today. Ugh, what? Of all days? Dang it. Am I gonna see anything today? Let's just go find more aliens. And how exactly are you going to do that? We need a plan. These creatures are supposedly dangerous. We can't just be walking around. What creature could both of us just happen to know enough about that won't get us killed? How about dragons? 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 Dog, are you crazy? You want us to find a monster, not a creature. You both seem to know enough about them, thus I believe you'll approach them with caution. If we do find a dragon, odds are we may even be too small for them to notice. That could be a good thing or a bad thing. I don't want to be accidentally stepped on either. Alina, I also believe if we are able to find such a grandiose creature, June will be completely satisfied with his curiosity and won't come back. Don't you agree, June? Dragons. How did I not think of that? Which one should we look for? The, one, the ones from Asia can talk? Can the ones from Europe? Are there dragons in Africa? There must be, after all. Dinosaurs were everywhere. Dinosaurs? What do dinosaurs have to do with all this? Hello? Giant reptile-like creatures sold in nearly all cultures around the world? What other species can you think of that can link all that together? Yes, one of the biggest beliefs is that the existence of dragons is inspired by dinosaurs and other large animals that would not have been widely known in the region. Well, dang. Maybe June actually knows stuff. Not to worry, Alina. We can discuss the different kinds of dragons around the world, but I believe we can look for the Aztec dragon god, Quetzalcoatl. He is the god of, well, a lot of things, but let's just say wind and wisdom. Oh, awesome. Sounds like a smart guy. He can't be mean then, right? His name means feathered serpent. It is said he was originally a serpent, representing the earth and vegetation. When he was given feathers, his story began to grow. 
he mixed with other gods and took on their attributes, like wind, rain, and became associated with the morning star. Depending on which area, even his physical form changed. Some places believed him to be a hero who was human, wearing a white mask that only showed his beard, or he himself was instead a creation god. But regardless, many told of his kindness and his intelligence. It was he who gave the people maize, food to eat, and invented books and calendars for people to learn and study. Hold up. A serpent. But that's not a dragon! The word dragon is derived from the Greek word drakon, which means large serpent. It's really only in European countries do dragons vary more in physical forms. Actually, June, while the dinosaur theory is popular, it can also be theorized that large reptiles like the crocodile inspired the mythology of okay. the- Okay, okay, you win. It's kind of weird getting a lecture from my dog. Please just continue. He is always with his friend or twin brother, Shottle, and together they are the gods of the morning and evening star. He has one other name, which has to do with him being a creation god, which is the god of death and resurrection. Wow, that's quite the resume. The story is that Quetzalcoatl was sent to get some bones from the underworld. However, the gods of the underworld would only accept if he was able to make a sound from a conch shell with no holes. Quetzalcoatl was able to do it by getting worms to make an opening and having bees go inside to create sound. While that was created, he tried to leave, hiding the bones on him as he left. While the gods of the underworld tried to stop him from leaving, he ultimately succeeded and used those bones with corn and his own blood to create humans. Wait, whose bones were those in the first place? Oh, bones of previous gods who had died. Wow, that's... that's amazing. Hey. As much as I like learning as well, how exactly can we find a god? It's not exactly morning, so we can't see him in the sky. Not sure how to get to the underworld, really, either, so what is your plan, dog? Remember what else I mentioned at the beginning? He was also the god of wind and introduced maize to humans. There's a plot of land dedicated to agriculture. That's a spot, if any, to meet him. If we follow the waters, we'll find him. There's enough space to farm as well. Just how big is this place? Big enough to get lost for days if you're not careful, Alina. Yes, duly noted. Hey, dog. Got any more info on him, like what he looks like? It might help. Although I guess if he's a big feathery serpent, you can't really blend in. He's typically depicted as green, possibly with a rattle at the end of his tail if he's in his serpent form. Hmm, what should we ask him if we see him? Maybe we could ask him if he knew what the heck was up with 2012. Really? What, aren't you curious? I want answers. Those were the Mayans. He's an Aztec god. Actually, the Maya also believed in him, so he would actually know that answer. Oh, wow. Okay, let's go find out then. We should be close. We've been following the stream for quite some time now. What was that? It came from the water, but... Oh, oh my god, dragon! Is it the one we're looking for? Oh, shit. Okay, we gotta go. Go, 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 go. A dog? I thought you said the Quenta coat was friendly. That, June, is not Quetzalcoatl. Uh, it's green, it's giant, and it's coming right for us! What is it, then? Oh, you guys, look. A a cornfield! We We can hide there. Maybe we'll find the real Quetzalcoatl to save us or something. Oh, or, or maybe we'll find... Don't you dare say, aliens. Run. <sighs> okay. Okay. We're in the field. Now what? I, I don't know. I don't see or hear anything. Dog. What was that? Well, judging on its appearance and characteristics... It must be. Sorry, sorry. My brother just called. I guess he's back in civilization. I'm going to talk to him now.